What is going on guys? It is your boy Tropical NHL back here today for a brand new video. So today we're here to talk about Owen Becht. I've talked about him yet in yesterday's video at the same time I was as I was talking about Philip Machard, but today this is a video dedicated only to Owen Beck because he had himself a night again last night in the OHL with the Mississauga Steelheads. But before getting into the video, I want to invite you guys to smash that like button. We've been doing like objectives uh, the last couple of days and it's been working really well. So yeah, let's hit 100 likes again on this video. Smash the like button. Uh, it takes two seconds if you like the video and it helps me grow up the channel because I end up on the recommendation page of YouTube uh, and yeah subscribe if you haven't already also we're really close to 1.5k uh, that would be nice to hit that milestone today and we are on road to 2000 subscribers as well um, before the end of 2022 so that would be perfect so yeah let's get back to one went back he had a pretty slow start and he had uh, three points in his five first games in the OHL. That happens a lot when a guy comes back from the NHL, from NHL training camp to junior hockey. Confident gets affected a little bit. He, he maybe had in the back of his head the idea that he might have a chance on making the team. It's always a disappointment to get sent back. So he had to adjust, uh, tell himself that he's going to improve and make the team next year. And the last two games is really the breakout for this season of Owen Beck. He had nine points. Yes, nine points in four periods of hockey. Uh, two days ago, he was playing. He got a six-point game, two goals, four assists. And last night in the first period only, he recorded three points. He finished the night with three points. So he now has nine points in his last two OHL games. It puts him at 12 points in seven games, six goals and six assists, which is really, really good. Really nice start of the season for Owen Beck. And he's also a really good two-way center. He plays defense and he can produce offensively. So he's, he's a bit like a Shane Wright. I know Legorox99 made a video a couple weeks back saying that Owen Beck was the light version of Shane Wright. Uh, is he really? Is he really a light version of Shane Wright? Or is he closer than we than we think? I think that, yeah, when Beck got drafted in the second round, uh, at the beginning of the second round, so he's basically a first round pick. He could have got easily drafted in the first round pick at the end uh, of the of the first round. Good pickup by the Canadians with the first draft pick of the second round. Uh, yeah, but I think that he's closer than Shane Wright that people think. Um, in the last couple of years in UHL, there was not a lot of hockey being played over there. Um, yeah, because of the pandemic, they missed an entire season, they missed a lot of hockey, they didn't play a lot, and Owen Beck got affected by this as well, uh, Shane Wright did, and it caught, it kind of made the, the scouting a bit, like, all over the place, because the, 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 the scouts had, um, less games to watch a prospect, because usually they followed them on, like, two or three years of hockey and junior before coming in a draft but this draft they only got one season of watching them so uh it affected the infos they had before drafting the players and i think that situation didn't help out owen beck maybe if he had an extra year in the ohl at 17 he would have been higher than in the rankings and i really think that owen beck the way he's been playing at uh, the Habs training camp um, and so far in the OHL, I really do think that he has everything that a first round pick has. I can even say that he is a top 20 pick in a draft, in my opinion. The way he plays both offensively and defensively in a very efficient way shows that he's a player that is going to be a really, really good player in the NHL. Uh, Shane Wright has, a, has an edge. He has more pure talent. But I think that where Hohen Beck is better than Shane Wright is his work ethic. This guy knows what he needs to do to get to the next level. And that's why I think that Owen Beck might be closer to Shane, to Shane Wright than 
people expect him to be. So yeah, he's six foot as well. He's gonna continue to grow. He, he could become a really big man. He's kind of, he's kind of, it's kind of beef. Like he's tall and he's kind of strong at 18. So he might get a bit bigger. He's gonna work on his play the entire year in the OHL. And I wouldn't be surprised if he comes closer to Shane Wright in the next couple of years than people expect because he has a way better work ethic than Shane Wright. The main problem with Shane Wright is his attitude and his work ethic. So that's why he got drafted fourth overall instead of going first. Um, yeah, little attitude problem, little uh, work ethic problem. He will 100% fix it in my opinion. He's going to work on himself and be a good player. But I think that what makes Owen Beck closer to Shane Wright is his work ethic. That is, I think it's the best thing coming from him. And I've watched his interview. I watched the 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 interview he had with the Canadians. And yeah, this guy has a perfect work ethic. He need, he knows what he needs to do to be a good NHL player, and he's going to do it. I can guarantee you, you're going to see this guy a long time in Montreal. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. It's been your boy, Tropical NHL, and I'll see y'all later for another video. Bye-bye.